Thank you very much. Uh, my opinion on the proposed uh, finance bill that is that will be brought up soon before Parliament is really, really disheartening. It is a proposal that is going to hurt Kenyans economically. It is a proposal that that if you look at it deeply, there are some of the items, some of the issues of concern that has been brought up in the proposal way from 30 years ago. The ideas like uh, imposing a 16% tax on uh, bread. This is, an, this is an idea that was there during Moy's era. This is an idea that, that will be so hurtful to Kenyans because if a Kenyan cannot afford a bread, and therefore you will know that again at that particular moment there is a big problem and that problem can lead to anything. Remember in France, when there was a revolution, the French Revolution was, was caused by one simple thing. When the wife of the leader was asked about bread, people were demonstrating that they wanted bread. Then she came out and said that if you don't have bread, why don't you eat cake? That is what Ruto is simply trying to tell us. Because if people couldn't afford bread, how could they afford a cake. Right now, if Kenyans can't afford just a bread for a child just to take one slice to go to school with strong tea, what is Ruto trying to tell us? Ruto campaigned on a platform that he was a hustler and that he was to protect and defend the interest of hustlers. Ruto now has turned to be a dynasty who is now pilfering money. Actually, this is equivalent to fraud. Biting more than he can chew stealing more than he can pocket and I can assure him that Kenyans are going to rebel very soon. Right now we are working on a way that we are going to remove Kenyans from different parts of this country not only to demonstrate but also to chart a path that they will feel is safe with them. And so many people will be crushed along the way because Kenyans are already hungry and you can't advise a person who is already hungry, that person will be hungry and angry. Therefore, the finance bill that will be coming soon is going to hurt Kenyans economically. And the income, the surprising thing is that the income is constant. So you cannot increase the expenses of Kenyans without increasing their income. If you would have increased people's income, it would be better. But again, not many Kenyans are employed. We know that it is only around 100,000 Kenyans who are in formal employment. The rest are in informal sectors. But while others have no jobs at all. So therefore you cannot continue. We used to say this in campus that you continue pickpocketing a naked person. And in law they say nemodat quod non habet rule. That you cannot spend what you don't have. Kenyans don't have this money. What will they spend? You cannot expect blood from guavas. So therefore... President Ruto, as we all know, is that he's a very clueless president. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know how to manage a, a nation. Whatever he's implementing is too hurtful and definitely should expect serious reaction from us. Because for every action that he employs, we will apply equal and opposite reaction. But this might not be equal. It will be above equal. So that at least Kenyans can know the way forward. Definitely we are headed in the wrong direction. Uh, there is a 2.5 motor vehicle tax that is being proposed. It's a new one. Where, of course, if you have a motor vehicle, 2.5% tax of the total, of the value of the vehicle. Uh, maximum, it's 100,000. 5,000 is the minimum. Also weighing on that, and uh, taxes on bank services, check and loans, 16%. First of all, if I talk about the service industry, service industry gives Kenyan economy over 61 percent. It contributes to 61 percent of the Kenyan economy, then followed by agriculture. If we talk about the service industry, which has banking and insurance, if a, post, uh, if, if, if a, mwanainchi, a common mwanainchi, a hustler goes to take loan to do business, then we increase tax on this loan in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of the loan interest being given by the central bank, the central bank rates. The moment it goes high, the way it is high, the loan interest will be higher. Then in addition to that, you put an additional charge, the, trans the transaction cost, which is still higher. So the question is, 
why do we want to burden a common mwananchi with all these taxes? That person who is going to take loans to do business, what money will that person be left with for their businesses, to start business, as a, to, to use as a capital to start business? It means that we are killing even businesses in this nation. We are discouraging borrowing. People can't do business without borrowing. They have to borrow because there, there is no serious source of capital for them to do different businesses. And then when you come to motor vehicles, it is too wrong when Ruto was talking in uh, Naivash. He said very well that Japan will bring cars here and therefore people will even buy vehicles on duty free, right? He said that... <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen! Eric Omondi, our president of Comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman. Pedi wa magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa story za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanga nya. Na uende dori. Subscribe right now. Pina saa hii. Sa wewe vina.